Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. First thing we're going to do in this video, considering now we've discovered all the discoveries, apart from one, which you can't get until we finish the game. Um, I think we better go get the last two crew members, including one, which is called Hans, who we actually did have. Um, but when I had a couple of videos screw up, I guess that I didn't go back and get him, so... Let's go do that quickly. I also wanted to fight the Black Looper, but we can't do that yet. We need to wait until some more story has happened before we can have that little pleasure. And I guess after that we'll see where the mood takes us. Maybe we'll continue and uh, get some more story done. Because I think that's like the biggest bottleneck at the moment is just the story. Okay. So, if we go to Hortega and go grab hands, it's really bugging me. Like, it's, I've just gone, uh, spent ages going back through my uh, list of characters here, trying to work out who we haven't got. Right, here we go. Now, Hortega, whatever that is, should be, should be here. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, ah, I think it's just over this side, isn't it? Oh, yep, there it is. Cool. Um, it doesn't really have anything for us. I always get confused here, too. Out of the way, dickbag. Now, the bloke we want is actually on this ship. God, I can't believe that we, we had this guy. Yeah, I've just had to cross-reference all of my lists to try and work out who isn't there. Okay, now, Hans. Where is Hans? There he is, you... I'm sure... Yes, you dick. Oh, Vase, I'm finished with my job as a factory technician. I'm ready to join the crew of the Delphinus, like we agreed. All right, Hans. It'd be great to have you aboard. Thank you, sir. Won't leave you down, Captain. Excellent. Nice, so there's our other engineer. Fantastic. Oh, also, uh, the good old games librarian has told me some other things. We've got something in our... As I glance at my notes here, uh, we've got something here that we can use. Right, extremely rare gourd found in Ixitaka that increases an ally's max HP to 200 health. So, who has the lowest health? Fina. By quite a bit. Let's give Fina some more health. Sure. Hopefully stop her from dying too early. Right, cool. So that's done. I mean, I guess I could have given it to Vaze. Because, you know, he's our big damage dealer. But with Fina so far below on the health. Might as well just give it to her. Give her a bit of a boost. Anyway, let's go back to our ship. And we have our final member of crew to find. And I can't pronounce his name. But that's okay. Because I don't need to. Now he, apparently, is found on an island north of the Valiant continent in Upper Sky. Now we've got a little bit to do to get him on our side. Come on, let's get some more jellies. There we go. Hey, five. Not bad. Right, so we want to go north. Kind of like northwest, I guess. Um, No, we don't. We are west. We want to go northeast. Wow, I'd make an excellent captain, wouldn't I? There we go. Just put the old girl through the trees as well. Handsome. So, should be around here, I guess. Or well, not around here, but kind of around here. Maybe that's it there. That's. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, so apparently he's not going to join us when we ask him the first time. He'll only join us 
after we've repeatedly asked him. I think we have to ask him twice. Bit rude, you know. And then he will only ask if we know someone in, well, if someone in our crew knows Rizlam, which actually might be wise to double check. Pretty sure somebody does know Rizlam. Yeah, I think everybody, literally, yeah. Yeah, literally everybody knows that spell, which is good. This is a positive. So, north of the continent. So, yeah, I'm guessing it is that little bit there. I'll be amazed if it isn't, put it that way. And then we would have assembled our complete motley crew. Which, uh, yeah, I've never done before. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty exciting to have, like, everybody. Um, this is kind of a pain in the ass of a game to get everything to 100%. To be honest. Right, so... Uh, ah, you know what? <laughs> that little tiny blip on the map was indeed where we need to be. This looks fancy. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, and apparently pupils going nuts. I did not know he was going to find a cham here, but that's okay. Yep, great, pupil. Grab the cham. Excellent. So what's all this shit? Looks like some sort of power source. I think, yeah, who am I kidding? I have no idea what this thing does. That's right, base. Ah, oh, this dude looks awesome. Ilch... Ilch miss? miss? Okay. Well, well. I never expected to get visitors way out here. My name is Ilch miss. I have come to this island to further my studies of various medicines. You're on this island, alone, to study. You're quite strange. <laughs> You're probably right. I've been called strange ever since I was a child. I was always asking questions. Why does water float when it freezes? Uh... It, uh, it, it doesn't. Why is the sky blue? Oh, wait. Does he mean the ice floats? Water f yeah, that was stupid of me. <laughs> you can tell it's like midnight, can't you? Um, but that calls to mind another question. What brings you to this island anyway? Uh, nothing really. Just sort of exploring. Would you like to join my crew? Actually... I would like to ask you to join my crew. We're in need of a doctor. <laughs> I'm no doctor. I'm a chemist. I study medicines and such. I'm very happy that you take me with you. Uh, take me along. But I'm sorry. I cannot travel with you. Why not? Uh, you said your name was Vase, correct? Ah, yes. What is it that you'd like to talk about? Nothing really. Just sort of exploring. And decided to see what was on this island. Haha, <laughs> I've been living on this island for nearly 10 years now. And you're the first visitors I've ever had. I have nothing to offer, but you're free to come visit my... Uh, anytime you wish. It's nice to hear another voice every once in a while. Yeah, um, well, apparently, if we leave... Wow, that's a really thick book. I can't even read this thing. It's just a bunch of strange symbols and numbers. That's why uh, you man the ship and don't do the thinking. Okay. Now, apparently, if we go back in and talk to him again, he'll join us. Now, let's go put that to the test. The last and final member of our crew. Hello, Vase. Was it? What brings you here again? Uh, will you join my crew? I will ask you again. Will you join my crew? I was not planning to leave this island anytime soon. Well, in fact, I was once a nobleman of Valua. I threw all that away. In order to come here and pursue my studies, I have no intention in returning to the world. The only person I will... The only person I will leave this island to travel with is one who has a heart full of wisdom and love. When a man capable of casting the silver magic Rizlam shows himself at my doorstep, I know that man is the one I shall follow. 
Rizlam? Actually, we know that spell. W what? You learned that incredibly difficult spell? Yeah, I see. Then it means you have a heart full of wisdom and love. I've been waiting for people such as yourselves. Please, take me with you. I only hope that my research can be of some use to you. Well, okay. I mean, he's an artisan. That was really bizarre, but I mean, sure, I guess. Why not, right? It looks like an ordinary windmill, but it probably has uses that I never dream about. Yeah, maybe, Vase, maybe. An assortment of herbs and tools are scattered about. Maybe they're used in the making of various potions and things. All right, cool, cool, cool. So... Now we have our final member of crew. <sighs> that feels good. That feels really good to have everything kind of mapped out in the crew department. So, there we go. Active and standby. Perfect. Hopefully, uh, Ilchimus? I'm just going to call him Itchy. Hopefully our friend Itchy has everything he needs on board. Now, what we could also do, I guess, is have a look at some of these bounties. There was another bounty that we could do. Funny enough. But I can't remember where. Actually, can we look at the bounties here? Yeah, we can. Wanted list. So, who's the next? Riding aboard a goldy ship, plated in gold, this pirate has been known to attack all who create a wealthy Yftoman. Traveling near the lands of ice, it's said that he throws money at his opponents. It's okay, well, we're kind of close to the lands of ice. I guess. So, I'm guessing he's just flying around the ship. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can find this guy. Why not, I suppose. Right, where are we? A little bit, little bit further along. Stuck back into the clouds. Just so we don't get too much attention our way. Right, okay. So this is looking promising. So here we are, lands of ice. Oh, is this actually... Yeah, this is literally called the Lands of Ice. And so's this. Got ya. Right, ice peeled. Damn it. Well, we've got these weird jellyfish things. That's fine. Ica should be able to wipe them out. A little bit of flame. Wonderful. Job done. Right, there's the Ouroboros Ellis. Now, we just need to find this ship floating around. There's our penguin friend. Now, where would he be? Have a little look. Right, if I go to... Check out. See if I can actually find him in my notes, shall we? Might actually help us find the guy, to be honest. So, we've done the demons. Ah, the wealthy. Ah, he's in Upper Sky. Okay, cool. So, let's give this a bash. So, that's nice. He's above us, somewhere in upper sky. So, at least we don't have to keep doing loads of random battles. Now, where are you? Well, there's the Ouroborealis. Which isn't exactly what we want. Where is this guy? Should be here somewhere. 
It says so. Son of a bitch. Okay. So what does it actually say? Um. Ah, right, okay. We can't get him yet, apparently. We need to visit Durangal Island. Well, that's unfortunate. I think, to be fair, what we really need to do now is to push the story along. So, that kind of makes sense. Let's do that. Right, one second, guys. And we're back. Okay, so yeah, let's go and continue. I suppose it's time. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go underneath uh, Valua and see what's going on under there. Probably nothing good. About time we got the yellow moon crystal, I suppose. We have been, you know, putting it off for just a little while. Now, I can't really remember this far into the game, to be honest. I remember... Do I, I don't know, I don't think I do. I, I know we have to go underneath and there's some shit to do under there. But I think we have to fight the yellow gigas anyway. But like I said, it's been just a little while. I still can't get over the fact that we've done all the discoveries. My god, that felt like it took an eternity. And now with all the crew on board as well. A little bit disappointed that I can't, well, that we can't fight the giant looper yet. But, uh, well, no, the black looper. Yes. Hopefully we're going to be sufficiently leveled for it, though. So he is supposed to be incredibly tough. Ah, look what we have here. Some value and sap. Well, let's go take this guy down. In his poor man's Delphinus. That flag is phased, the air pirate. We'll all be promoted if we defeat him. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay, cannon. And then I suppose we'll just go for. Uh, I guess we could try, like, just use some of these. A concussion bomb. Get it used. And some gear grease, I'm sure. Okay. He actually holds up to a bit of cannon fire a little bit more than I thought he would, to be fair. Sh yeah, these shredder bombs and things really don't do much damage at all. This is interesting though, just how small it is compared to our ship. I don't want to do the old mines bigger than yours, but you know, kind of really is. Ooh. Although that Electrum was pretty nasty, to be completely honest. Ooh, looks like they're going to hit us pretty hard. But you know what? I don't th think we care. Because we can just, like, completely and utterly outgun these guys all day. Pretty sure there is very, very little that they can do. At least that's the hope, anyway. Although, although, putting up more of a fight than I would like, that torpedo should really sting. Yeah, he is slowly chipping away at our health, actually.
Unreal that, that torpedo missed. Gonna have to get this ship repainted, I think. And, oh, that's a shame. That really is a shame. Still, I guess it doesn't matter. Hit him with the ancient cannons. Get him with the arc well torpedo. And you know what? We're just going to have to pop some gear grease, aren't we? Although, he shouldn't really. Yeah, I don't think he's going to survive this turn. like a battleship fighting a frigate. Yeah, man. Oh, look at that. That would have been beautiful with the main gun. But I guess it's a waste of our power, too. Yep, she's done. Arkwell Torpedo does insanity damage. I kind of wish those ship battles were just, um, I don't know, just worth more. They don't feel like they're really worth doing, which is a shame. Anyway, let's get patched up. Everybody needs a little bit of healing too, so I guess we'll do that. Right, let's get everybody healed. Nice. That'll do. And, of course, heal our ship. Get that thing patched up. Should be a lot easier to heal the ship, in all fairness. I guess we can just use these crappy repair kits. Should be much easier to repair with all those crew. Right, let's hit the deck. Go underneath the sucker. Now we know those dancing lights should, I believe, show us the way in. Where are you? Okay, there we go. Ah, this looks rather ominous. Ooh. Yeah. The Moor of Tartarus. Or the more of Tartas. Oh, listen to that music. Ah, oh, we've got that really nice music again. Um, wow, we've got some old saves here. Okay, let's go. But this is kind of like the Dark Rift again, then. Well, let's keep going. Push on through. Some really cool looking crystals here. Now there is two chests, apparently. So what the hell are we fighting here? Ah, okay. Well, these aren't anything new. Hopefully, Ica can just destroy these. Hopefully. Yeah, man. Yep. Okay. Nothing here. Nothing to see here, folks. Just some pretty weak source enemies. So I believe these crystals uh, maybe not. Hmm. I thought those yellow crystals are supposed to be chests. I might be wrong. Now these things look a little different. Well, hopefully Ica can still do the damage for us. Yep. Ooh, except for one. One lonely little survivor. Oh, happy to get some levels and an ISIL seed. Cool. 
Right, so... Yeah, see, according to my notes... Those things are chests, but hey, whatever. Whatever. Let's just keep exploring for now. More of these douchebags. So it seems like there's like always one that survives. Just like chilling in the back. Just for no other reason than he likes to waste our time. So what about this? Is this... That is not a chest. Maybe that's a chest. Is that what... Ooh. Okay. Oh, look, guys. We now have... We now have enough. So we can do Reign of Swords straight off the bat. Oh, dude. Now we can really kick an arse or two. They look weird. They look like floaty cuttlefish things. I like. I'm happy with that. Definitely... Nice to see some enemies that are looking a little bit different. A shrillop. Also, really happy to be able to finally do Reign of Swords straight away. That's pretty epic. Right, what is this? Is this the chest? No. Hang on, have we just gone like right round in a circle? I'm going to say yes, we have, because that's where we came in. It is. Interesting. Okay. So this is going to be like one giant maze, because of course it is. Ah, oh, Reign of Swords, straight off the bat. That is so freaking cool. Now we shouldn't really have to worry too much about anything. Although, maybe we should uh, give Ica a chance to see if she does do more damage against these things. But I'm pretty sure Reign of Swords is just a better move. And we're actually getting better XP here now too. And a Rizlum box, cool. Right, that's the way we came in. So what, pray tell, is this way? This looks very tight. More of these assholes, huh? Well, let's see if Ika's flame power is any better. Uh, not really, no. I would say Vase is definitely better. In fact... Sure, I was going to use Pirate's Wrath, but we definitely don't have that much power. And we should almost get another blue spell. So... Ah, wow, we really are just going around in circles, aren't we? Interesting. Oh, wait. Or are we? Are we indeed? Son of a bitch. Ooh, Death Bloom. Doesn't seem like the nicest thing in the world, does it? Desperately need some new weapons, I think. Okay, we're not actually getting bad experience from those enemies. Yes, rank up. Sweet. Maxed out on yellow. Okay. Ah, right. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. So, according to my notes, we've actually missed um, a moonberry then. Well, that's a pain. No idea why we've missed. No. No. We've missed the Dexa seed. 
Son of a bitch. Well, we are on half an hour here, guys, so... Oh, we can't even save it. <laughs> oh, actually, I beg to differ. We technically could save it. But before we go... Before we go mad with power... Because we're running emulation... Let's see if we can just go back and find this chest. Kind of want all of the chests done. Because at least that way we know roughly where we are. But at least, well, to be fair, that room is a dead end. At least it looks like a dead end. So we know we can come back. Now, has everybody maxed out yellow magic? Yes, everybody has maxed out yellow magic, so we don't need to use that anymore. Sweet, okay. Right, so this is the central room again. Which, right, so there's an obelisk thing in the sky there. There's one on the ground. So we know what they look like. Um... Right, so what does it say? Go forward until you reach your large room. Take a right turn. Right, so it's not actually telling me where the Dexter Seed is. That's fantastic. Wow, we've got like 15. <laughs> we've got 15 spirit power now. So finally, after all this time, went up to 14 spirit power. And now we're on bloody um, 15 all of a sudden. Okay, so... Where the hell? That's the small room. See, we're supposed to get... Dexa seed before, but that's, that's definitely not a crystal we can search. And there's a crystal all the way up here. But that's not one we can search, question mark? Or is it? No. So have we missed one? So let's take a right turn. I'm pretty sure this is back the way we came. Right, I think when we you guys I'm gonna oh no I'm gonna end the video here and off camera I will try and find the seed and then that's where we shall start next time so yeah because otherwise I think we're just gonna be floating around getting into random battles so anyway guys I'm gonna leave it there thank you very much for watching and as always till next time